You are an extremely powerful force if you decide to be. If you decide to not give up towards a certain goal, and if you have decided between all of your logic and reasoning abilities that this is the goal you should be going after, that this is a feasible thing for you to do, okay, you are so powerful in your ability to do that. However, you have to put yourself into it and you have to believe in yourself. Otherwise, you won't take the necessary steps to accomplish it, okay? There's someone who's accomplished everything that you want to do. So if you want the real tip, don't be a bitch. Do what you can do. Do the extra rep. Don't set it down. Go for the extra thing. Learn your limits are more than you thought they were. To show up and be your best. And that opportunity doesn't come that often. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky you got the cover. You got this, Craig, you're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullshit. Because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. No, I remastered it and remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Start to finish a blueprint that every single module inside of it you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. There's no steroids in there because that might not work one day when you have to deliver. Can't have that thing in there, get out of there. Luck cannot be in there because this is a universal term last I looked. Shit called good luck. There's dumb luck, I mean, who, there's bad luck. You can't have, he's out. Your girlfriend can't be in there. My family can't be in there because this right here is gonna get me from the EKG at the top to stay at the top, but if it comes crashing down, it'll get me back up. It must be that way, controlling all the assets in between. That's success, guys. You must get comfortable with fear and failure. They must be your best friends. You're the only one that moves that needle of life. It's hard to put the effort in to create greatness, but it's a lot harder to accept the reality that you could have been great. It's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. If you sacrifice and make the sacrifices each day, each day, each day, then you'll see the gains, man. It's all about a mindset. It's all about sacrificing and being willing to go through what it takes, you know? And when I say that, I'm talking about discipline, the des desire, the determination, the dedication, you know, discipline, determination, dedication. What is your reason for going to the gym? Why are you there? What's your why? Why are you in that gym? Is it to win a bodybuilding show? Is it to look better? Is it to be healthier? Is it to challenge yourself and go to that next level and be a better person overall? All right, you get to go to the gym and you get to fucking own that time and you get to own the results you get. The harder you train, the more work you put in, the more you get out of it. If you give 100% in this session and you hobble out of that gym, you're gonna be very happy with yourself and the rest of the day is gonna be good. Everyone has the potential within them to do something great and to look much better than they already do. Why don't you start today? Invest in yourself. Go beyond in the gym. And I promise you, you will go beyond in every other aspect of life as well. It's your decision. Time is not going to wait. So if you have 24 hours in a day and you're spending 16 at work and if you have that one extra hour, whether it's you tuning in the live right now or it's you going through your social media, watching TV, spend it in the gym, spend it on becoming better. Just decide what it's gonna be, who you're gonna be, how you're gonna do it.